the world-famous Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, Kelly McGonagall Finglass has led America's sweethearts to new heights of accomplishment and popularity. In tonight's Proud of East Texas, Joan Hallmark takes us to the Valley Ranch for the exclusive story of this Linda woman's rise to the top of the cheerleading ranks. But here is the original artwork on our body. If there ever was any doubt that the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have truly become icons, that was dissolved with the debut of the Barbie Doll Collector Series. Barbie is one of only many innovations spearheaded by Kelly McGonagall Finglass, who's been the cheerleader's director for the past 17 years. Kelly, a graduate of Lindale High School in TCU, entered the cheerleader ranks in the 1984 tryouts. The most nervous part about it was when I finally got my car parked and there was a line of over a thousand women outside Texas Stadium and they all were they they all seemed probably to all of us everybody was prettier everybody was thinner it was big hair 80s although she describes those hopefuls as a thousand Charlie's Angels look-alikes Kelly did make the team on her first try in fact when I made cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys in 1984 the choreographer came up to me and she told me I made the squad because of my smile Kelly was to use that smile her dance training and a lot of hard work and dedication to light up NFL sidelines as a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader for the next five years that was me that was probably my fourth or fifth year Kelly retired from cheerleading in 1989 to become assistant director of the group and in 1991 became the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader director she attributes much of her success to her Lindale roots I love being from Lindale I love saying I'm from East Texas in general but I I feel so fortunate that Lindell played such a part in my life. Kelly says her training as drum major of the award-winning Lindale High School Band has helped her in her career. There are things that I reference with our cheerleaders about alignment and precision on the football field, which are straight out of Batomini's um, list of, of rules and regulations. Whether it comes from her Lindale background or from her innate intelligence, Kelly has led the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders to new heights in accomplishment. She produced the first swimsuit calendar video, she turned the organization into a profit center, and created new entities in the DCC show group, Camp DCC, Cheers to Fitness, and the annual drill team and cheerleading competition, where East Texas teams prevail. And the phones light up during our competition in October, and everybody's like, it's 9.03, and I'm like, hey, yeah, great. As producer of CMT's hit series, Making the Team, Kelly has experienced some of her most fun and most painful moments. The ecstasy of making the team and the agony of not being chosen are right there on television for all to see. Ladies, let's see who made it! I make a lot of people's dreams come true, but we also break a lot of hearts. And that part has is hard on me personally, and it's hard on everybody professionally. This is our Bob Hope Spirit of Bob Hope Award that was presented to us. If there is one aspect of Kelly's multifaceted job that always brings joy, it's community service. That was in uh, Bosnia at Christmas. The cheerleaders have made over 60 USO tours, more than any other group, and their visits to hospitals and nursing homes have brought smiles to thousands. Sports entertainment, movies, TV, calendars, education, and community service, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are America's sweethearts in every respect, thanks in part to a girl from Lindale. Kelly McGonagall Finglass. I've now been the director for 17 years, and I'd like to think that I've carried the torch um, for my predecessors and hopefully laid foundations for the future, too. Until next time, from Valley Ranch in Irving, I'm Joan Hallmark. Kelly Finglass says East Texas women have always done very well at Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader tryouts. Those tryouts are coming up on May 10th. So.